having the ability to integrate like ventilators and other like types of like positive pressure ventilation is really exciting. Um, and I'm really looking forward to getting to learn more about it. I loved it. it. Amazing that they figured out how to get him to exhale. I like the actual breathing aspect of it and actually being able to hook it up to the ventilator is gonna be oh, really cool and not as frustrating, I'm hoping. <laughs> Hi, I'm Danny, and I'm really excited to introduce you to the new Simmer and Critical Air Simulator. This particular simulator offers the same sort of features as what we find today in Simmer 3G+. So things like advanced airway, we have rise and fall of the chest, we have live defibrillation, we have fluids and so on. But one of the things that actually makes this product a little bit more unique is the new advanced lung module. So the new advanced lung module has been co-developed with Ingmar Medical, who are our partners in this particular development. And they're actually leaders already within the simulation community for ventilation. So working together with them, we've taken their functionality and placed it within the simulator itself. And of course, really the, the most ideal thing about this is that you get to actually do high-end ventilation training in a portable location. So this mannequin is completely tetherless. So you can actually wheel it throughout the departments wherever you wish to conduct your simulations and it's a lot quicker setting it up. So let's talk a little bit about the actual advanced lung work. So within the chest, we actually have two pistons that actually move up and down that we can control with the software. And one of the unique things about that is that actually creates air movement um, within the airway. So both negative and positive pressures. So when we have the mannequin intubated like this, and then they're connected to a ventilator, we can actually use all the different types of ventilation modes that are available to us in, in modern mechanical ventilators. So things like pressure support mode, where maybe where we're trying to actually wean the patient off. So in other words, as we lighten sedation and the patient starts to breathe on their own, one of the things that it allows us to do is actually allow the ventilator to support that breathing. And of course we can adjust the settings and then eventually extubate the patient. So we're really excited about introducing uh, this particular product. I look forward to selling it to you soon. Thank you.